morning or good evening or whenever you're watching this guys welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is an exciting one that i know a lot of you have been waiting for we are doing a house updates tour what i'm going to do is i'm going to walk you around the house and talk you through things that we've done so far and also things that we're planning because there's so many things that we're planning that we can't do it all at once basically so we need to plan things in the best order, which it takes a lot of preparation, to be honest. Everything kind of takes quite a lot of prep because you have to think about the order you're doing things. And of course, because we've got a new build, we're also going through the snagging process. So anything that's slightly wrong with the house has to kind of be redone. And also with it being a new build, uh, it's actually advised not to go ahead and just decorate straight away because of you do get cracks in your walls and things like that. So we've kind of decided in terms of like wallpaper and paint and not to go crazy at first. In fact, probably what we're going to do is come around to that later on after we've filled the house with furniture. It sounds a bit daft because then we have to move all the furniture to decorate, etc, etc. However, the things we want to do, it just makes sense. So I'm going to talk you through lots of exciting things. We also have actually bought some more things that we've not put in the house yet. So we've got some kind of flat pack stuff in the garage. Um, again, I will show you these things. I will insert like a picture where I, where I can. And I'll also show you some inspo of things that we're, we're after basically, because there's some things that we can't actually find or say for instance, the TV stand that I'm after, I can't find one that kind of matches what I've got in my head basically. So. It's all fun and games and there's lots to do and it's just so exciting. So yeah, we'll get started and we'll start in the office, which is where I am now. Some bits I might have to film and then voice over because Ben is downstairs playing on his game with his friends. So I don't think you want to hear him playing COD in the background. <laughs> so I might just have to kind of point at things and, um, then obviously come back and voice over it. So if I'm talking really fast at any point, that is possibly why. If you have any questions or any ideas for things we could add, please send them my way because we won't think of everything. We're not interior designers, we're learning. We have our style and what we're after and we've got so many ideas. It's like where to start. <laughs> Again, there's, there's been occasions where we've bought things and it's actually not fit or we've not actually liked it as much as we hoped. And then we've kind of been thrown off and not really sure what idea to go with in certain spaces of the house. Now there is quite a lot of space to fill. So again, it's just coming up with ideas and seeing how they work. There's, and also <laughs> there's other things as well that we've just bought with us from where we were living previously. For instance, things like bedside tables and lamps, which we're using now before we actually go and buy the ones that we want. So, Again, I'll talk you through all of it and let's get going. This is the studio slash office slash games room, which is the biggest bedroom in the whole house. So when we do come to having children and they're old enough to have a big boy or big girl's room, then this is gonna be a nice one. I'll be pretty jealous. Um, it's actually weird because this one's actually bigger than the master bedroom but obviously this doesn't have an ensuite so we prefer to have the ensuite so obviously we've gone with the master bedroom ourselves and this actually works as well for what we want it for and this room we have got more for but we've not put it in yet so I will insert things and show you what we've got so this is Ben's current setup uh, he's kind of in the alcove so you can you walk in and then Ben is in the alcove. He's got two screens, which I am going to get a second screen myself because for me, when I'm working, I currently only use my MacBook. So um, I, I need more screen space basically for the things that I do. I, you know, I, I don't have enough space on my screen, which sounds maybe ungrateful, but <laughs> it's not. It's just because of obviously the business. It's, it's not a big enough screen for what I need. So instead of getting a new computer, I'm just gonna get a second screen. This, uh, I am, we're pretty close to each other, but it's not all that often that we're both sat in here at the same time, so it doesn't really matter, and when we are, we both have headsets on, so, um, yeah, it just kind of works. <sighs> this 
is then my table. Oh, we also are going to be after some wire organisers. And for now, I'm more than happy with the desks that we have completely. But long run, what I would like is some kind of pretty posh looking desks. But like I say, for now, we don't need to do that. And obviously, things like that, it's a desire and it's things that we would want. However, with obviously the idea that this will eventually be a children's room, there's absolutely no point buying that sort of expensive furniture for this room when we're not going to go crazy and decorate it because eventually it will be a children's room. So, you know, it's it's hit and miss with stuff like that. Um, for now, we're just going to keep this as it is and, you know, we'll see, we'll see what the future holds. So, this is my desk. I love looking out the window. Now, I'm going to sound maybe a little bit crazy here, but... Um, this is honestly my favourite thing, having the window in front of me. Not only can I see obviously the goings on on the estate, but um, the road out there is an actual main road, which you can't really see us from because of all the trees. But if you learn meditation, there is a simple technique that teaches you to think as though cars are passing by. So you sit on a wall on a main road and you watch cars come and they go, just like your thoughts. So it's kind of observing your thoughts. Instead of just getting attached to your thoughts and dwelling on them, you just watch them come and you watch them go. So for me, that metaphor is now real life in front of me while I'm working. So say if I'm stressed at work, um, I then look up and kind of use that metaphor in my brain and it just works for me. <laughs> you know, if you're not into all that things, then I would highly recommend it. I know I sound like a lunatic if you don't know anything about that sort of thing, because I once upon a time didn't understand it either. But since I've gotten into it, I, you know, <laughs> that for me is just something that makes me so incredibly happy. Um, I'm so happy that my desk is located here. And it also means um, I can have the windows open. And I usually do that at night as well. Sorry, not the windows, the, um, the blinds. No one actually can see me from here, so obviously when the house across the road has obviously got blinds closed, that, that's the back of their house, so they're not really looking out of it too much. And then the house opposite us, if I was sat over here, I would maybe feel like these houses could kind of see me all the time, but I just feel like no one's watching me, and, you know, I've got the fresh air in front of me, and it's just lovely. So, as you can tell, my desk is probably one of my most favourite places in the house, this little corner in this huge room. <laughs> Um, you know, it just makes me giddy. So with with working at home for my nine to five job and also obviously running an e-commerce business and with my freelancing, these are the things that I, like I spend my I spend a lot of my time at my desk. So for it to make me this happy is a massive, massive blessing. And honestly, when I was younger, I used to envision this. So um I used to sit in my dad's office at home. And there was a window, but it was a bit higher up, so I couldn't actually see out of it, but I could see the sky. And I would have these things. This lamp is, was literally my dad's. Like, that lamp has always gone with me, whether it's been in my dad's office at home, in my bedroom at home, when I moved in with Ben, um, on my desk in his room, or now, obviously, in my own home. So there's things like that that I've added, which have come with me since I first ever envisioned this. Like, I have literally been envisioning my, my own home and my own office in my own home since I was, like, 11 years old. So for this now to be reality, it, not, it, it feels phenomenal, but it's, it, I knew it was happening. So it's, it's just crazy, to be honest, that obviously these things that you, in your head, you know they're yours. So you're grateful for them even when you don't have them. And for me, I've always had this vision that I would love, 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 one of those old fashioned green lamps on my desk. I've always wanted one. And I always wanted that, a typewriter and a Polaroid camera. I've got a typewriter and I've got a, po a Polaroid camera. They are not here, they're at my mum's. And I haven't yet got the lamp. So I've said to myself, I'm obviously going to keep this lamp that's come with me the whole time until I get my, you know, my final desk with that, that green lamp on it because that's just something I've always wanted. I am not materialistic. <laughs> These are the things that I like to spend money on. So, you know, I, I'm not really a spender. I 
find it difficult to spend money because I'm more about making money, it's just the way my brain works. And yeah, I like little things. So these, um, my auntie bought me this and it's honestly probably, it, it, no, it 100% is one of my best, best ever presents. Like I am honestly obsessed with this, if not my best present ever. Like this was my 21st birthday, along with a donation to endometriosis. And I just find this perfect. Like it's absolutely me to a T. So take what you need. And then obviously there's these little kind of coins almost. Um, and they each say something different on them. They say peace, hope, faith, calm, strength, and love, which, you know, it's just perfect. Okay, so I'm just actually quickly filming this on my phone because I forgot to add it in. Well, no, I didn't forget to add it in. I did film it, or at least I thought I had, but quite clearly I mustn't have pressed record when I filmed this little clip, so I'm just doing it again. Um, those are temporary blinds. They are currently everywhere in the house. Um, so the little label thing that's on them, I would have removed. However, I've purposely kind of left the labels on to make us hurry up and choose which actual blinds we want, which we have finally chosen now, literally this week. We've decided, so we've been measuring up and uh, we're going to get started on getting those ordered and installed throughout the house um, to several different rooms to start off with anyway because we're not going to have the same ones in every single room but in the kitchen for instance and up here in certain rooms and the front lounge are going to all be the same so yeah that's something we're working on now and we have got a pull out bed which is kind of like a sofa bed type thing it is a full-on child's bed and it'll probably go either here or over there with a tv on the adjacent wall it's a gray bed and it's absolutely gorgeous i'll insert a picture of it now um as you can see obviously the drawers pull out underneath so there's extra storage space we'll get some duvet and some uh cushions put on it it's currently not actually up we've um, got it flat packed away in the garage so as soon as we've bought the mattresses because we couldn't get them when we actually bought the bed so as soon as we've managed to get hold of the mattresses we'll uh, get that up here and it'll obviously not just fill some space but start to make this room pretty cozy and we've also then got it for future when we have children and um, we can obviously use that as a children's bed if we are still keen on it that is. <laughs> We were originally going to bring our old TV stand up here um, because it's got storage space and TV space. However, I have actually seen a lovely storage unit that I like and I think we'll probably end up going with that instead now. So for the time being, this room is pretty empty, but I do like lying on the floor. So, you know, it's good to sometimes lie on the floor. Anyway, we're moving on because I spent a lot of time in this room. Okay, so this is our landing space which we love it's one of the features of the home that we we fell in love with in a different home actually that we were first set on and yeah we're just so happy that we found one with a landing space like this and then obviously our stairs are straight down which is also lovely here we are going to put a radiator cover and to be honest it's one of those things i would have just done straight away it's dead easy to do and it would just make a little feature in the hall because obviously the hall right now is completely empty like we don't even have our light shade yet so that's one thing we are working on now is choosing light fittings we're not sure what to go with yet we know that we want them to kind of be cool white rather than warm white um and maybe mirrored that sort of sort of chandelier maybe type effect might work okay in here because there's quite a lot of space there but downstairs there's a door so we won't be able to go with the same so it's whether we want to match the upstairs and downstairs or just go different we'll figure that out but that's one thing on our to-do list that's quite near the top because we've said that light fittings will just make it more homely you know currently we just have a light bulb <laughs> and they're also kind of yellowy you know so it's it's not ideal when our furniture and everything's going with gray it just kind of makes everything look yellow and when you're as obsessive as me, that is not a vibe. So light fittings are definitely on the agenda. <laughs> um, this is just our boiler cupboard, so nothing exciting. And then we have this, which is currently a walk-in wardrobe. Now, it's a bit of a mess because um, 
I don't know why to be honest, Matt. these I've, again I've had them years, they're actually broken but because they match we just went with it, it kind of sits really cute. Mirror again, we haven't actually bought any proper mirrors yet but we've currently got this old one which is working for the time being because we only really need need something like that. Um, and then that was off bed for my 21st. We do have, um, we have a scent in pretty much every room which we actually need to refill because that one, it doesn't smell as strong as it did in here. This is next to our bedroom, so it will be a nursery one day. Um, but for the time being, it is our walk-in wardrobe, which is, is working okay. It's just that we don't have our clothes up yet because our clothes, well, no, we do. We have a lot of clothes in our drawers, um, but these are a bit flimsy and we didn't want them to like fall against the walls and things. So we've kind of just got our coats and stuff up there for the time being. And you'll see where our clothes are in a moment. It's not ideal, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, that's what that room is. Now we're into the master bedroom. Now, let me explain to you what, what's gonna go on here. Probably, again, I'm not sure when we're gonna do it because it's gonna be a big job, but we're going to have walk-in wardrobe, uh, sorry, not walk-in wardrobes. We're going to have built-in wardrobes all across there. Um, probably some sort of form of like mirror in the middle so I can, you know, look at it while I'm getting ready or whatever. And so Ben can, obviously. But yeah, that's how we've envisioned that. It's going to be literally, there's loads of space, as you can see. Um, so from here all the way across, we've always got our um, washing basket there for the time being. We're going to have fitted wardrobes, which is going to give us all the space we need for wardrobes, to be honest, because there's just loads of space there. So I don't know when we'll do that, whether it'll be anytime soon, because obviously for the moment, we don't have any other um, usage for this, but when this is a nursery, we will not be able to use it for our clothes. So we will have to have somewhere else, which will be there. Um, obviously, again, we've got these, these blinds are even better. They're, they're, again, the same as the other ones, the temporary ones, but it just makes us realize that we will want dark ones in here because it's just the vibe that we're going with. I'll insert a picture of the type of bed we're after. This is temporary. This was never used, basically it was um, when I moved in with Ben, my mum got rid of my bed because she gave it to my brother. So she bought this just to kind of fill the space for me in case I was ever staying at home. Yeah, so kind of bear with us on this. This is just very temporary. That bed is going to be our spare bed. So at the moment we're using it because we had to figure out, we were going to actually buy this before we moved in, but we had to figure out the space because of we want a headboard on the bed we want and the, the window sills are obviously reasonably reasonably close together so you can fit a king size bed in between there but um, we weren't sure about the headboard and how we were going to work it but now we know we we have kind of decided I think on the bed that we want um, but we want it to be an ottoman so it can lift up for storage and again I'll insert some sort of pictures um, for you to have a look at as the style of bed we want. So you can kind of envision the, the room we're going to have. It's going to be all grey and, you know, maybe kind of lion, lioness-y in here. And we've got to get a picture up there with lions or lionesses on. Um, and the walls will be decorated in here to make it super, super cosy. Um, probably maybe textured, maybe a feature wall. Um, we'll, fig we'll figure it out and then eventually again we'll have a TV up on the wall but it's actually working well not having that at the moment because when we come to bed we come to bed to go to sleep so it means that instead of sitting in bed and watching TV until god knows what hour we actually don't we watch TV downstairs we finish watching our film or whatever and then we come upstairs bedside tables and lamps again they're probably ones that will go the bedside tables will go into the spare room when we upgrade and choose the ones that we personally want in our room. The lamps we'll probably get rid of and may, might go in the spare room, I'm not sure, and then um, we'll get some some really smart looking, probably diamondy, silvery type lamps. I have seen some actually that I'd like so we'll probably go with the ones I've seen. We have these cute little coasters as well. Um, and yeah again we've got another scent in here that matches the one in the walk-in wardrobe because it's just kind of our style. This is our ensuite. I love this and we'll probably get another one of these in the bathroom. Now I know how much I love it. 
it's dirt cheap and it's super sparkly so it's really really pretty to be honest i just love it um that is our shower and again not really done much in here um we have the same toilet brush and bin in every bathroom we've got candles that were a lovely gift on here and toilet rolls just like that we, we i'm thinking of getting maybe some form of small cabinet down each one of the sides just for a bit of storage space and maybe as well a toilet roll holder but i don't think we're going to go with one on the wall i think we're going to go with maybe a stand-in one so it's a bit of a feature again we're personally not too bothered at the moment because it is only us in the house so having them like that is not too aesthetic but it's all right especially when we've got more in because it just looks kind of like a little feature so yeah again you know that won't always say like that when we've got a cabinet we'll be able to put them inside it which is kind of why i'm going with that now in terms of a mirror i we were we originally thought maybe there but i think we're gonna go there because i just think that'll work even better to be honest um i do have the type of mirror in mind probably one that's almost like a bit of a frame like an old-fashioned frame with you know, like a silvery one or a black one or something like that I'm wanting to add quite a lot more black into our home. So yeah, bit of contrast from the gray. Um, I just think black looks really classy as well. So then we go into the bathroom, which matches, the tiles all match, which we love. They actually, I think were darker than the ones we chose um, because we chose lighter ones because we chose dark flooring but it actually goes and I actually honestly love it. Like our bathrooms is one thing I love. We need to get a mirror here now. <laughs> We've been saying that since we moved in. However, whenever I've seen see prices, they all include installation, which we don't need because my dad and Ben can fit it. So that is again up with the light fittings. That's even higher than the light fittings on our priority list. That's probably one of the first things we're about to do. Um, but it's got to be one that fits so it can't just be any mirror we're going with one that actually fits that entire space so yeah just need to get one cut basically um and one that doesn't have to include the installation so i'll figure it out and we'll get it sorted pretty soon because that's just going to finish this room off to be honest for the time being we then have these lovely little feature features we've got home entity which is one of our lovely neighbors and then we have this which is resin by evb and i would highly recommend because this little goddess is absolutely beautiful i i love it and i definitely want more of these and yeah i'll definitely be adding some of those around the home i think i'd like one in our, our bathroom to be honest we probably will tile again eventually in here but it's not something on the priority list whatsoever that's just a feature to add long down the line um we're going to get a, a cabinet built around that but that's going to be a tricky job and it's going to be a unique job you know it's not we're not just going to buy one it's going to be one that's actually built to fit so i think that will look super smart in here and then i'll obviously change that this room's actually spotlighted um so yeah it's, it's pretty cute in here with the spotlights then now be prepared because this room is super messy I'm so embarrassed, <laughs> except I'm not because, you know, we've only just moved in. It is what it is. We're actually filling the space pretty well. Um, we've got all our clothes basically in here and our plan with this is our spare room. And I've got these cute little things in here. We've got a bed, which was our old bed, which is knackered. So it's just kind of holding the space and making it look a bit more like a spare room um, until we move the other one into here and then well, that when we've done that we'll obviously have our own new bed so this we're going to fill with a big fat cupboard which means we'll be able to put clothes that we're not currently wearing you know say when it, when it's summer we'll be able to put our winter clothes in here and then have our other clothes in there but obviously this will be a spare room so it's not really going to matter um, again obviously it's going to be a spare room now but long down the line it may be a children's room so we don't want to build fitted wardrobes because for me personally, if I was a child in here, I'd probably use that space for a desk. 
So, you know, I'm not gonna make my children's decisions for them before they're even born. <laughs> so yeah, lovely little space, um, but it's just kind of filled with clothes at the moment. Okie dokie, so let's go downstairs. Do, do, do. So this is our hallway, which is gorgeous. I just love it so much. It's actually so much bigger than I thought off the plans, which made me very, very happy because I thought it was a lot more narrow. See what I mean about the lights making everything look yellow? Not a vibe. Can't wait to get them changed. <laughs> um, okay, so this is our front room. Now, currently completely empty. I've just got a TV on the floor. So this one is super exciting. Again, this room's so much bigger than I actually anticipated. Our plans in here, again, will be majorly decorated. This is gonna be the cozy, cozy room. Like Christmas morning is gonna be in here. It's gonna be super cozy. We'll have gorgeous curtains there. It'll be probably wallpapered all around. We probably are going to panel, whether we panel the whole thing or whether we just have a featured panel along that one because what we're going to do is build a fire surround um you know like an electric fire the ones that stick off the wall with the tv in so it's going to be built into the wall with the fire surround um maybe with shelves on the wall or something either side because like you see it's quite a long wall so that will only be in the middle giving us a lot of space space either side for maybe chest of drawers or things like that maybe bookshelves i am so determined to have a bookshelf in here probably quite a big bookshelf because i just want to keep adding to my book collection <laughs> and we're then going to have over there a cuddle chair so one of those round circular chairs that you can swivel around on it'd be super super cozy and then we're thinking we were just going to have a long couch, but Ben is now after a U-shape, um, which will fit. We measured it last night. We have actually got our eyes on one, but again, we can't get attached to it because there's no point us doing that until we have built the fire surround and decorated, which obviously is going to all happen in due course. So yeah, this is this is just a nice space to be honest. If we do go for the um, cozy U-shaped sofa, we'll have like a little mirrored table in the middle and it'll look all cozy and cute. So yeah, that is our lounge. I just forgot to show you that basically we have these French doors which open and so do the ones from the family room and kitchen, um, which again is just a feature we just love. Um, we have thought that maybe eventually one day we might uh, build out and go up but who knows, because to be honest, personally, this is a house where, you know, I don't know how long it'll be our home, but then when we upgrade from this, it'll be our dream, 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 dream home. So I only personally want to really do that and then maybe have other properties elsewhere. Um, and obviously I'm going to build on my own real estate. So, but this is not an asset, like this is a liability, you know, it just, this is our personal home, it's an investment in our business, in ourselves, in our family, it's not a financial investment whatsoever, our other properties would be a financial investment. So for us, this is our dream first home, and then we'll probably upgrade, following the footsteps of kind of Olivia and Bowen, because this is the sort of home they had to start with, and then obviously they upgraded to their like dream home that they like made over into everything they want, and it's a massive project, and it's just nice and spacious in the countryside with loads of land, that's probably what we're going to go for. Um, that's the, the lifestyle that we kind of want to live. Sorry about the mess like that out there. We can't kind of keep the bottles out there because we have too much in the fridge right now. Um, that over there is our garage, which is going to be completely transformed into a gym, which is going to be amazing. It's gorgeous and spacious in there. Gorgeous and spacious. Like there's so much storage space upstairs, which we're going to build out. So you can obviously put storage in the up, up a bit of it and like in the roof. And then um, we'll have a gym throughout the whole thing. Maybe also put a drying machine out there because we don't have space for one in the kitchen. So that will, we're probably gonna put a door kind of there, like a wall and have uh, a washing machine somewhere. Uh, not a washing machine, a dryer in there maybe. Who knows, but that's gonna be a gym. So I'm excited about that. Our garden obviously goes around the corner there as well. Um, and yeah. So, there's our back gate. If 
front door that's just obviously the box for whatever i'm not sure <laughs> um then up there we're going to have a console table maybe a another radiator cover here and a um a shoe a shoe what do you call it like a shoe rack where you pull it out so you can't see the shoes but it'll be nice and fitted um i'll probably get a cover for that as well but yeah we're gonna have a lovely mirror which we have again we've bought from ikea but we're not putting it up until we obviously uh decorate and get the console table um sorted so that's that then obviously this is just our under the stairs a little bit messy we've got our internet and stuff under there at the moment nice and spacious though there's loads of space in there and um, there is a light as well in here this is our downstairs bathroom which my idea is for this this is one of my favorite things in the whole house i just have to buy this it's just so entirely me um yeah so i'm thinking i don't like that tile whatsoever i know it's a splashback but you probably will eventually just tile most of this space but i'm thinking of maybe getting like a vase type thing with those i really don't know what they're called so you're gonna probably laugh at me for this those like feathery things <laughs> that stick out you know just as like a little feature probably get another mirror there to be honest because that is like a photo frame which i've not put photos in yet and then we'll probably get a mirror there so yeah that's that for the time being we didn't used to have two of these but we have moved this because they're actually both running out so they're both kind of helping each other in keeping the scent until i get a new one <laughs> okay so i'm now going to switch to a voiceover so i'm just going to think it through in my head okay so sorry if my voiceover has changed a little bit i am doing a voiceover now because obviously i'm in the same room as ben while he's playing his game so i don't want you to be able to hear him playing his game with his friends this is our gorgeous open plan family area kitchen and dining room one of the things that really really sold the house to us this was on our checklist from day one we couldn't find a house like this we were actually about to settle for a house that didn't have this sort of layout and then we stumbled across this and could not let it go this is our dining space, which we obviously haven't sorted yet, but we're going to have some gorgeous curtains on the French doors and probably a material sort of blind to match the curtains on the long window because we're going to make this into a proper cosy dining area space. Obviously, currently, please excuse the mess. Um, we were going to buy a dining table at Christmas. However, we couldn't decide on one. We have a style that we really like and I'll show you a picture of this. I'll insert it now. But basically, we're unsure of space and also unsure of decor. Um, we may get rid of these chairs, but we do quite like them there. So, again, we're not too sure. We're thinking of probably having the dining space here and then maybe some sort of table with a lamp on, maybe a feature wall. This area will probably all be wallpapered. Um, we're also going to get a big clock on the wall. Uh, I forgot to actually point this out, but we are going to get that in between the two windows of the kitchen and the dining room. This is our kitchen and obviously family room. We are absolutely in love with this space. Um, we'll probably eventually have a black sink, but it's not something that's a priority right now because obviously we already have a sink, whereas there's other things in the house that we haven't got yet. So that's one of those things we'd probably change when everything's furnished and uh, decorated and whatnot. Uh, we, just, we just are obsessed with the kitchen, to be honest. It's where we spend most of our time. A lot of our time is in this area. We want that sort of lifestyle we always did where, you know, we could be all together, basically. And there's also the other lounge. So it means that there's space for people to spread out and uh, we can host, you know, we can have people around. It's ideal for a toddler um, to be running across the, the floor in here. So, yeah, it's it's all just it's all just pretty perfect for what we were after. And we're, we're very, very grateful to have found this layout, to be honest. Obviously, you've seen this board before, but you can now see it up in my kitchen. When I first showed it you on my range video, you didn't know I'd bought a house. So um, I, I did. I had already obviously bought a house then, so um, I knew. We will be getting a plinth and a door to go over the washing machine. Basically, you can see these little clips here and things. They're going to screw on to the, the door. Um, we haven't yet done that because if we had snags and the floor had to be redone and things like that. So we kind of have to wait until we've had other things sorted until we can get on with that. But for the time being, we're not too keen on the look. But obviously we have a nice washing machine, so it's not too bad. 
Then we have the central vacuum system, which is from vacpoint.com. My dad actually fits these, so we're obviously so grateful that we've been able to install one in our home straight away as well. It is basically a hoover that's built into the house. Um, we'll probably have an inlet point upstairs as well at some point, but to start us off, we basically just had these two things downstairs. This is our bay window, another feature which we absolutely love about the home. It's just some more space um, for storage and for seating. Now, we were going to build a, ben a bench in here um, and use like a skirt along the side of it. However, that would be very permanent. So we decided against that because we want to be able to interchange it whenever we get bored. So we're probably going to have a seat of some sort in here. We did actually buy one, but it was tidgy. It was literally so small um, and it would have been lovely, but it was just too small. So we may go with the same sort of idea, but a bigger one, or we may go with two seats or we may go with a seat at a table. We're not too sure yet. Um, we're also obviously going to get the blinds in here soon, which we're so excited about. It's a lovely little area. Um, yeah, we, we, we do love this. We want a TV stand and the TV will go on the stand to start off with, but then we're going to put it on the wall. Um, we'll probably have things either side of the stand that are going to be more obviously storagey space. Moving on to the family room, obviously it is what it is. It, it's a family room. So when we do have children, um, and especially when we have young children, this space will probably be more of a playroom, which means we don't want to go too crazy and decorate it as a almost like a, an actual proper lounge right now. Because if we did that, then we'd have to change it again when we do come to having small children because we'll need storage space, you know, maybe a little table for the kid or kids or whatever, you know, um, like toy boxes and things like that will be needed in this space. So we don't want to go too crazy. We do. We've got these two tables that we got dirt cheap and they were just an idea for when we moved in. They've been really useful for obviously side tables, but we will be getting rid of them. I'm not too keen on them, to be honest. I think they were just a bit of a, a cheap little fix and they were, they've been perfect. They've been absolutely what we needed, but it's something that when we do decorate this whole space and area, they'll be going. So yeah, that's, that's this room basically for now. We've got these um, we've got this gorgeous sofa, which we absolutely love. Didn't realise how big the space was. And we could have actually got a bigger U-shape, just like the lounge that we were after. Um, again, we probably will do that along the line. But for now, we just love this couch. So, my lovies, that is our beautiful home to start with. Um, obviously, I don't know what you're thinking about the ideas. You might have, after you've seen the space and um, heard about our ideas and what we're planning to do with each room and things like that you might have thought of something else that you might think might be a good suggestion for us that we might not have thought of so if you've spotted something that you think might be a good idea by all means let us know um obviously this is our front garden you can't really see anyway but yeah um so <coughs> that's our home now and what we plan to go with it, there's so much to do it's like you just you just don't know what to go with first right now each day i kind of sit in each room and think oh what color would we go with for that and blah 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 um but yeah what i'll do is i'm going to update you again soon um like i say there's certain things that we are choosing and ordering and installing at the moment things like the blinds and the light fittings the bed things like that so when we've done some, some of the things I've talked about today, I will update you again and show you around. And again, you can just let me know your ideas or inspo or anything that you're thinking. Um, let me know because it might benefit us. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the support. Please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because subscribing means the absolute world to me. You don't understand how much it means to me. It really, really does. I notice absolutely every single person who does it and it really, really pulls a little heartstring of mine. <laughs> so that is our home and I will see you very soon. Thanks for the visit to the Lucas home. Love ya!